Hey everybody, nice of you to join me today. Thanks for coming. Um, oops, I got to turn down the fan there. Um, yeah, I got the, the side of my case open and I've got a fan blowing in there to keep the temperature on uh, the system down because I've got some issues going on with it. Um, what can I tell you? You know, usual stuff. Um, Every so often you're going to see me looking kind of sort of like this. That's because I have my camera on a tripod directly in front of my monitor. So that way I don't have this tendency of looking uh, away from the camera and back to the stream to see what's going on to make sure everything is kosher. Um, let me just adjust this camera a little bit here. That way it looks a little bit better. All right. Um couple of things. Uh, I'm sure you, by now you've seen the, uh, the news that the Royal College of Physicians in London uh, published a major paper on vaping uh, this past week. Um, all I can say is when I saw that coming over the feed earlier this earlier last week, um, I was basically over the bloody moon. Um, the Royal College, in case you don't know who the Royal College of Physicians are, um, it is a group of physicians that was formed in London back in 1590 something, um, 1580, 1590 something. Um, I forget the exact date. They are by far the oldest group, professional group, probably in the world. Uh, when I say group, I mean group slash association, uh, stuff like that. Um, they pretty much invented the idea of a professional association. Um, for them, to have come out on the side of vaping, not just in the way that they came out for it, but the simple fact that they came out for it, period, is like, oh my God. Mind blowing. I mean, with like the TV commercials where the top they you see the tops of people's heads going poof and there's a little purple cloud going up. That was me. I saw that my jaw I went Oh my god. Yes. Now the FDA can't pull too much more BS. The, you, you have to understand that the Royal College of Physicians has this reputation behind it that no one, no one who wants to keep their professional standing in the medical industrial complex will dare, especially when it's put out not just by a single member of it, but by the association itself, challenge um, it's like turn around and let me see if I can come up with the right analogy here. Um, it would be like a parish priest challenging the Vatican. Okay, I, that's about the only thing I could I, I can think of to as an analogy for it. The AMA looks up to the RCP. Um, 
they when the RCP speaks, they get down on all fours and go, not worthy. We're not worthy. Okay? Just saying here. That's the kind of reputation that this organization has. Um, I don't think, especially here on this side of the pond, people realize just how big a bloody deal this is. I mean, <laughs> this is... The next best thing would be to have the Pope sitting on his throne sucking on an eye stick. Or God to come down in a cloud holding himself a super king size uh, you you get my idea here. You you get the idea here. Um Yeah. Um so yeah. It's um it really was a bloody humongous thing to see happen. I mean, the next best thing would be for, I think the only thing that would be bigger would be for either A, the Congress to pass a bill that specifically, clearly, and succinctly states that vaping, e-cigs, and everything that has to do with vaping does not come, is not tobacco, is not a tobacco product, does not come under the jurisdiction of the FDA, and is, and shall be considered from henceforth on a consumer product to be handled by the appropriate federal agency or two, the European Union repealing the TPD and leaving it up to the individual nations of the European Union to administer whatever rules and regulations they feel and deem are appropriate for the industry. And that the only thing that they would say is, is that the vaping and all vapor products shall be considered a consumer product, not to be medicinalized, period, end of quotation. I think those are the only two things that I could think of that would be more humongous. Seriously. Um, yeah. Um, at least to, in this child's personal, humble opinion. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's, I don't know how much more I can say about that. Um, on other matters, I was going to be trying to get up this weekend a review on this, not this, this, the um, E-Leaf iStick 100. Um, some personal things have, <clears throat> excuse me, some purposes, blah. Please. Some personal things have popped up in my life, and um, I'm not going to be able to get it done. Probably not going to be able to get it done this weekend. Um, I will try to get it out next weekend, um, or at least by next weekend at the latest. Um, this coming week is a stand, pretty much a standard week for me at work. Next weekend, next Saturday, I have to work. So I specifically set it up that way. 
because of the uh, local township elections that are going to be coming, not this coming Tuesday, but the following Tuesday. Um, I work the work for the Board of Elections on voting days, uh, make a few extra bucks. So I need to be able to make up my my work day so my check doesn't look like a 12 gauge hit it at point blank range with, uh, you know, birdshot. Mm, just saying here. So next weekend is going to have a big hole punched right into it where I'll be working. So uh, that's going to put a major kibosh on my vaping activities. And the following week I uh, will be taken up with normal work and dealing with the polling stuff. So yeah, um, I got another crazy, another crazy two week period coming up. So um, this weekend has been basically for rest, recuperation and uh, mental clarity, shall we say. Um, and like I said, a couple of things came up. Um, I was very gently reminded that I needed to make a pot of lentil soup, uh, bacon leek and lentil soup, which I did last night at about two, three o'clock in the morning. Um, that required a lot of tending. So um, yeah, um, that's one of the things that took a major chunk of time out of what I had to do here. Um, there's a lot of other things that, that have popped up that I really, I not only don't want to get into, but can't speak of right now. Um, so yeah, the, the eye stick is going to be the, the release of the eye stick, um, video is going to be on hold for a little bit, unfortunately. Um, I'm still working on the CeraVape, uh, Cerebus tank. I have been using that back and forth to work during the work week because it's it's nice, it's diminutive, um, it fits easily as opposed to something like this um, in with my work routine. So yeah, um, I'm working on that. Um, so far, I'm liking it a lot. It has been giving me some really good flavor. There are a couple of minor issues in it with, excuse me, not in it, with it that I will address when I finally do start cutting the video for it. Um, it's not really something that you, that will generally be a deal breaker for everybody, but it's something that needs to be pointed out so that when people look at the product, they will be able to make a an informed decision as to whether or not they wish to purchase it. Not only that, but it will also give CeraVape uh, information that they will be able to use to make their tanks better. Um, I still haven't been able to figure out yet if these issues are in user error, uh, a juice configuration, or if it's a design flaw. I'm kind of sort of leaning against the idea of it being a design flaw in the fact that right out of the box, this thing was absolutely freaking phenomenal in not only cloud production, but also its flavor production. Um, I'm thinking that this may be something that I'm doing wrong and I have to revisit it on a more personal level. I have to look at see what I'm doing and how I'm going about doing it and decide whether or not um, 
it's me or it's the tank. It's most likely me, um, though I'm not really sure. The reason why I'm using, oh boy, these batteries are getting low. All right, give me a second here. Uh, the reason why I'm using my KFUN as opposed to the CeraVe uh, right now is that, uh, oh, I'm going to be getting into this in a few minutes. So um, the reason why I'm using my KFUN right now as opposed to the CeraVe is that the CeraVe does not have any stainless steel coils for it and as such um, I cannot make use of the temperature uh, control that um, this little puppy has so I'm really digging the temperature control oh yeah baby definitely so um, yeah I, I'm like when I'm home this thing's on temp control. Why does this thing feel like it's got some VG on here? No, oh, it's, it's green. Oh, by the way, a little FYI for all you folks out there. This thing has a screen cover that when it ships from the factory, it's a little plastic film that goes over the screen to, to help protect it. Now, you might want to keep it on if you're in a, happen to be in a, profession or a job that will wind up causing major massive scratches to your screen and the screen protection that's on the, the, the plastic that's on here but if you're not uh, you might want to take it off um, because I'm telling you all last week I was using this thing and the screen's brightness on this thing in bright sunlight is very very hard to see if not damn near impossible um i'm going to be trying this out working this out again in the coming week and we'll see if it does it any better but i'm not really holding too much hope on it but just a little something i thought you might be interested in Ah, that is so much better. It is so much better when you're vaping on fresh batteries as opposed to half croaked batteries. Yeah. Um, next little thing. Vape mail this week. Um, I went to, I believe it was, let me see, just to make sure. Ah, Lion Wholesale on the web. They have these little things, okay? Uh, they're 18650 battery boxes, okay? These things are 62 cents a piece. 62 cents a piece. They come in assorted colors. You, whatever they grab out of the bin is the colors that you get, unless, of course, you specifically request a certain color uh, as you can see I got green here I got yellow here I got blue here I got a whole shitload of other ones I picked up like six six or seven of these things um, keep my batteries in yes I I'm planning on getting more batteries um, I've been looking around on the web to see different places and um, when the finances get a little bit straighter I'm going to be going out and getting myself about six or eight um, of the Sony VTC fours um, from what I've been able to see from the test data that battery mooch has been putting out um, yeah the VTC fours seem to be pretty much what I'm looking for besides the VTC da, 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 da. The VTC4s are what um, this calls for. Um, 
Hey, Cosmic Gopher. I'm I'm really sorry, guys. I I have not been looking at chat. I've been looking into the camera. So please forgive me. Uh, yes, I do just ramble. Uh, eight oh three oh nine. That's basically what I'm doing here. I do not have a second camera to be doing builds and stuff like that. Hi, Cosmic Gopher. How you doing? Um, so yes, and as to the K fund that I'm you're seeing here, this is a Tobacco clone uh, K fund four. Um, it has a long mode adaption put onto it. it that's actually a Zvomesto uh, extension for it, and the cage that you're seeing here, as well as the glass, comes from uh, Fastec. Uh, the reason why I have that, yes, that is a glass protector 309. Um, it comes from Fast Tech. It's like five or six dollars for the glass as well as the glass protector. Um, the reason why I did that was is I had originally bought the uh, complete long mode kit from Zvomesto. And I had this by sitting by the side of my bed, and it went mod down, and the glass broke, and there was VG all over the place. A bloody mess was had by all. So um, I had to get a replacement glass. And when I turned around, I got on, I went on to Fast Tech, and I noticed that they had this glass protection cage on there uh, for a rather modest sum. I picked one up not only for that, but also for the other K Fun Four clone that I have. And an extra one or two just in case, so I would always have it. So, yes, I run all of my K funds except for this little baby, which I run in the M mode uh, with a aftermarket purple uh, plastic uh, tank on it in long mode. Why? Because I'm lazy. I don't like to have to constantly be refilling it and this gives me almost six mils of juice in here so I get some extended time on it. I'm also running this with a 28 gauge stainless steel I believe it's 10 or 11 wraps around a three millimeter post uh, running it in temp control right now at 420 degrees I have oh, I'm sorry this is a new build I have in here this is Eight wraps around the three millimeter. It's running at 0.85 ohms, uh, 27 watts, and it's working really nice. Uh, I replaced the drip tip. This is a uh, Kanger Unitank drip tip that I happen to really love. So, yeah, that's that's the kind of setup. And the juice that I'm running in here is some DIY stuff. So my apologies. I have my my little tablet sitting over here that I have the chat up on, and um, I am sorry that I looked across a couple of times. I didn't see anything in there. So um, yeah, I my apologies, guys. Uh, how you doing, Gopher? Long time no see. What's up? Ah, I hear what you say. I'm really interested lately in ceramic coils myself. Yes. Um, ceramic coils are really, really interesting little beasties. Um, going to try a new tank soon. Yeah. Um, ceramic coils are... A very interesting little beastie. Um, they're very dependent on the viscosity of your juice that you're using and the design of the ceramic that is in there. Um, the, the CeraVape tanks that I've been um, doing reviews on are really good tanks. They're very well built. They're very well designed. But the original coil heads that they were using, not only in the Mini, 
the hygienia uh, and the solder uh, were not very forgiving when it came to high VG uh, juices. They came out with a high VG head for those um, for those tanks, which I during my reviews did not initial reviews did not have. I managed to get a set of the high VG heads for the solder um, from the from Benny, who is the distributor of uh, the stateside distributor for CeraVe. And he sent me them over, and as soon as I put them in there, I was running a 80, 85, somewhere in that range, uh, VG juice at the time. And I'm telling you, the the tanks just, I mean, they just went boom. The flavor was still very, very good. Nice, crisp, uh, very true flavor. But the wicking, which was the main issue on the type of ceramic that they were using up to that point, was taken care of. Okay. Um, getting fantastic reviews from several forums. Yes, the Cerebus is working very nicely. I have a, like I said, I have a couple of little minor issues with it, but it's nothing that. I would consider a deal breaker. Um, I think it's more like my user error. So I, before I turn around and really start talking about it, um, I really want to double check what I'm doing and see. Um, right now I'm using a 75, 78, somewhere in that range of uh, percent VG juice. That's what I wick, I set up the last time I did some uh, some uh, DIY. And forgive me, I'm just looking over at the chat to see if there's um, anything new. Um, so I want to turn around. I want to check to see if the ceramic that's in these coils may be giving me the issues that I'm having uh, because I'm not using a thick enough juice. All right, so I, I, I'm, that's all I'm going to say about it until I turn around, until I actually double check myself. So if you, I, I'm sure you can probably see where I'm going with that, but I'm not going to go there. I'm going to leave that up to your imagination. Um, please be conservative, okay? Um, but yeah, so far I'm really liking it. Um, as soon as I put this tank into, I took it out of the box. Um, and I rinsed it off and wicked it up. Uh, it was, oh my God. Uh, they really brought their A game to the party on this one. Um, the solder, when I first got it, if it had worked the way this tank works, I would not have been putting out the review that I had initially put out. Uh, the review update that I put out on my channel uh, would have been the initial review. Okay, um, just saying. This thing is a really nice little tank. And as you can see, the form factor of it is is really nice um it does get hot though so if i will turn around and say this to you if you start making use of this tank they supply these little rubber caps to go on top here make use of them seriously 
because if you decide that you're going to go chain vaping on this thing, this thing gets hot, real hot. Um, at least the way I've been using it, and I've been using this in straight wattage mode, I've been running it between, well, I've tried it at 25, 35, and I've got it up to about four, 38 or 39 watts before I started getting to the point where it was just a little too damn hot for from my tastes okay so um yeah um excuse me i kind of messed up the thing here so uh yeah uh if you know if you you're interested in it um and you've been seeing some really good reviews out there for it cool um I, tanks like shoes are highly individual um just like manufactured shoes those every tank is a little bit different um no two tanks come off the assembly line exactly the same they really don't it with engineering tolerances and manufacturing tolerances um being brought into the the the, the equation here um, no two tanks come off the same um, just like no two cars no two people are exactly the same we all have follow the same basic design patterns but mm, not so much exactly the same so yeah um, My suggestion to you, if you like it, try it. That's all I've got to say. If you want to wait and you want to hear what my review for it is going to be, by all means, that's your choice as well. Um, I really would like to be able, I, I was originally planning on having the review for the, the E-Leaf out this week and putting out a review for the Cerebus um, next week. Um, but I think it's going to wind up getting pushed back a little bit. Um, Remax Scylla with the ceramic tank. No, I have to run that ceramic coil around 70 watts, but it accepts all of the older Freemax coils. The new Vapor SOSS coil, so I'm interested to try it out. Hey, that's cool. Um, if you've got a lot of coils already in your, in, you know, in your parts box, and yeah, uh, go for it. If it's going to make use of stuff that you've got, by all means. Um, that would be one of the major considerations of, I would have if I were going to be going out and getting a tank and I had a whole you know excuse my language shitload of coils and stuff like that sitting there from a previous tank I would definitely be looking to see if I could find a tank that made use of those coils that I already had so that I way I could you know maximize my my costs so yeah um the Scylla tank from Freemax, yeah, I've heard some very good things about that tank. Um, I really can't speak about it because I've never had one of them yet. So I really can't turn around and, and, and address that. I can only go by what I've heard from other reviewers out there. So um, I would say, yeah, go for it. And um, I, you're running around 70 watts. Well, hey more power to you man uh i know when i turn around i get i was running this i stick with the uh cerevape at i think it was like 50 60 watts on uh in power mode in, in variable wattage mode it was still giving me absolutely fantastic uh flavor it was giving me great cloud production the only reason why i didn't continue using it um oh yeah sure 
yeah um if you want to turn around and you want to do a little review here by all means be my guest uh come on to the show come over here to the chat and and let me know what you think about it i would really appreciate it um i like to get feedback from people as to what they feel about a product um and this way it helps me to understand a product when I finally do get it. Uh, the Scylla tank is one of the tanks that is on my list. I have to admit it's it's really down the list. I have I have a mental list here that I have of different things that I've seen and I'm interested in. Uh, one of my major criteria for a tank has to be that it has to have a rebuildable option for it. Um, if it has a lot of different coil types that it can be used, coil heads that can be used in there, fantastic. That gives me options so I can play with things. But any tank that I get for myself personally has to have an RB, an RTA deck in it. Um, if it doesn't, that's an automatic deal breaker, period. Um, I do not want to have my vaping being held up at the long end of a supply chain coming in from China. Um, I don't want to turn around. I don't want to be sitting here with a tank and going on and going on and then all of a sudden my coil head decides to crap out on me on a Sunday night when all the shops are closed and I can't turn around and go out and get it and if I order it online it's going to take me a week or so to get the damn things. I want that rebuildable deck because I want to be uh, back up and running. That's one of the reasons why I love the KFUN so much. Um, it's all rebuild. Okay, I have my wire over here. I've got my cotton. Bada bing, bada boom, I'm up and running. Like, I just replaced this coil in here last night. I put the new coil in here. It's a 8, 0.85 uh, stainless steel, 28 gauge. Uh, I've been playing with different number of wraps, trying to develop a, a standard wrap that I want to be able to use. Now, I normally, with Canthal, use eight wraps of each, uh, either seven or eight wraps, depends upon whether I lose count or not. But usually I try to go for eight wraps. Um, on Canthal A1, 2.5 millimeter inside diameter, um, 28 gauge. It gives generally puts me at about 1.1, 1.2 ohms, depends upon, like I said, if I lose if I lose my count and I got seven wraps, then it generally starts at, it, it, it's like at, right at one ohm or give or take a little bit, depend upon how I, uh, how I do my, the wrap and stuff like that. Um, generally eight wraps is what I, I do around the, the mandrel and I come out about 1.2 ohms. Now, eight wraps on this is putting me at 0 0.85, 0 0.9. That's on a three bill inside diameter. Um, I'm liking the three mil inside diameter. Uh, it gets me a lot more cotton in there. It's a lot easier to wick. And um, it, just, it just works a lot better. Um, I do, however, because of the increased amount of cotton, have to be very careful when I'm doing this of where exactly I'm cutting and trimming my wicks. Now with the 2.5 millimeter, if I have it sitting directly, you know, sitting directly and brushing the deck or even on the deck a little bit, um, not a big deal. I can maneuver it around. I can, you know, play with it. Uh, however, when I'm using the three millimeter inside diameter coils, I have to actually make sure that it is actually totally above the the build deck by about maybe a millimeter or two. 
because I need to have the extra juice flow coming into the concentrator ring there and actually pooling inside the concentrator ring uh, to make sure that those wicks are fully saturated. Otherwise, not good, not good. I start trying to turn my lungs inside out, if you know what I mean. Dry hits. Mm. Bad, bad. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, basically that's what I've been doing. Um, I, any, like I said, any tank that I get has got to have an RBA head on it. Excuse me for one second. Um, I stopped down, uh, at a brick and mortar about a week ago to not far away from me here. To actually take a look at some of the newer tanks, to, to to physically get them in my hand, to see what they looked like, to see how they felt, um, to look at the decks and everything else, to see you know, because when you're looking at it on a 19, 22, 23 inch monitor uh, on YouTube, and the camera zooms in on it, the damn thing looks like freaking huge. I mean, like really, you know, um, the way it looks in in the physical form it the way it looks in your paw totally different you know so i wanted to get a chance to take a look at one of these things and 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 be able to judge as to what i thought of it now i've been hearing some wonderful things about the griffin and i'm sure they're all totally true However, when I actually started looking at it, and I noticed that the, 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 the little black, huge mouthpiece that's on it doesn't come out, or at least on the one that I was trying, didn't come out on it very easily. Eh. Deal breaker. Um, I'm sorry. I don't like those tips. I like, as you can see here, I like nice thin tips. That have a bit of a flare on it so when i turn around i put it in my pie hole um i have something that you know is right there um i'm sorry uh, that's that's the way it looked to me and like i said i don't know if the drip tip that was in there had been put in on a permanent basis by the owner of the the, the store i have to see about going to another brick and mortar that's not too far away See if they have one and look to see if it's the same exact thing. If it is, um, I'm not, it, it, that's right off the list. Um, I don't care how good it is. I don't care if it's got a nice velocity deck on it, the whole nine yards. If I can't turn around and replace that drip tip, it ain't happening. As you can see, um, even on the survey, I, I replaced the drip tip because if I want to, um, if I'm evaluating a product, I want to be comfortable with it. I'm not going to be using it exactly the same way. I will make use of it with the drip tip that's on there for a limited amount of time just to turn around and just to be able to speak to it. Uh, but when I'm going through a major evaluation on the product, I want to be able to know that I'm comfortable with it. In any form factor which means that I put my drip tip on there if I like that drip tip I want to be able to put that on there just like you and anybody else out there will be able will be doing so yeah um, pretty much that's it um, let's see what else was I going to be talking about today uh, and see I'm really I, I, this 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 whole week has been just like wow um hey how you doing off how do you pronounce that offy vapor how you doing nice to see you come in um yeah this whole past week for me has been like absolutely wow it's been like boom. um i have been 
going pretty much like I, I, I've been an absolute space cadet this past week. Um, I think that the only thing that's really been going good for me is uh, the fact that that work is there and I, I've been able to concentrate on doing my work. Um, was it what do you mean was a type oh office vapor oh okay sorry about that <laughs> oops um yeah so it's been like um i i don't know if you uh, you understand um where i'm going to say come from with this um my wife is very much into astrology um and she keeps reminding me when Mercury grow, goes retrograde. Um, I kind of have a sort of, shall we say, um, little understanding um, of what that's supposed to mean. And I find that there's a lot of, shall we say, uh, correlation to the way things go for me in my life. So, yeah, um, I, one of these days I get enough time, I'm going <laughs> to actually look into what it's supposed to be some more. But, um, yeah, this, this last week, um, quote, Mercury went retrograde, close quote, and I, I have been feeling like I have been walking around underneath the ocean without any kind of scuba equipment, if you get my meaning. I mean, it's like, whoa, um, I've been trying to power my way through it, so things have been a little crazy for me. Um, so, yeah, um, I was going to make notes. I actually started to make notes at the beginning of the week as to different things that I wanted to talk about uh, today. Um, I haven't got a clue on where the hell it went. So, yeah. Um, pretty much that's about it. Um, unless you guys got some questions or you want to make some points or something like that. Um, Right now, I'm I've pretty much come to just about the end of what I, I've I've got to talk about. So, um, this this show actually runs mostly on content from whoever whoever's in the um, uh, in the chat and what you guys want to talk about. Um, some things that I come across and stuff like that. Oh yes, battery stuff. Yeah. Um, Guys, pick some of these up if you get a chance. Um, these things here will save you a world of hurt. Okay, please. They're not that expensive. Like I said, they're 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 sixty two cents a piece. I picked up a whole crap load of these things. Um, in advance of my putting out my battery order um yeah so yeah i did actually talk about this before uh you know what i'm talking about i i mean i'm like i'm really a zipper head today i i've got so much stuff in my mind that it's not even funny it's like it's all back there it's like i, I and muddy water and everything else so you know uh yeah guys come to my rescue here yeah, uh, it, it, it's it's just like last the last two weeks have been absolutely crazy for me um, in in the work department and, and stuff like that. I barely had enough time to turn around and um, get my act together and everything else. So um, this week, I actually have a chance to sit back and 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 put my feet up and catch up on some some of the uh the tv shows that i've been recording and stuff like that so it's like it's actually been saving my tail um the wife has been nice to basically kind of shove the honeydew list back a little bit so that i can actually relax um yeah, next week is going to be crazy. So you know, next actually next two weeks because the the craziness is going to be occurring 
the end of next week and into the beginning of next the following week. So, yeah. Um, well, after 13, almost 14 months of unemployment, uh, got to do something, you know, got to turn around and got to make the bucks while you can to try and get the, that backlog of bills paid off. I'm sure you guys understand that one all too well, so. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, duh. Like I said, zipper head. Uh, I was contacted last week, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, by a juice company um, that uh, via email through my YouTube uh, requesting that whether or not I would, you know, questioning whether or not I would be interested in uh, their, doing their line of juices in a review. Um, I said yes. Uh, hopefully, I will be getting them in within the next week or so. Uh, the flavor profiles, they, they had, um, I think it was four juices in their line. One of which was a cereal vape, which I'm not, I'm, I'm not really big into cereal vapes. I, it sounded tasty, but the other three that they had in their line sounded even more yummy. I am, I, ever since I was a kid, I freely admit I'm a custard junkie. Yeah. Um, every time my mom had to go to the deli to turn around and get some stuff for dad for his sandwiches, if she didn't come back with at least three or four custards, um, you know, the, the little, the little German custards in the little foil tins with the, the almost like creme brulees, the, the, the shit hit the fan. Uh, I was like, uh, ma, you didn't get me my custards, so you do the garbage. Yeah, I was a snotty little bastard when I was younger. What can I tell you? Um, she finally got to the point where she realized that she needed to bribe me. Yeah, what can I tell you? Uh, so, yeah, ever since I was a kid, I've been a custard junkie. Uh, and the ones that they had on their line, oh, my God, they sound really interesting. I Because when, you know, I got the thing, I... I looked at the, uh, I went to their website to see what they had just to make sure that what I was looking at was not somebody trying to get my, uh, my contact information and well, you know, uh, this day and age, anything is possible. Crazies, there are crazies out there. Um, so I went to their website and I looked at their, their the profile on all their flavors and I'm sitting there I'm going mmm yummy so I told them that yeah sure I'll be glad to do it for you you, you know you want to send it send stuff over go ahead I'll I'll take it um so yes uh, I will be getting some in within the next week or two and uh, I'm really seriously looking forward to it um their their juices are are quite nice um, I do my own DIY because let's let's face it, I'm a cheap son of a bitch. Um, being on unemployment for the last 13 months and having, well, I can't say for the last 13 months because it hasn't been for the last 13 months, but for 13 months, I had to be very conservative on where I spent my money. Um, so yeah, thank you, Gopher. Um, I, I, I'm looking for, I'm seriously looking forward to the review, doing the review on it myself. Um, so I had to turn around, I, I almost had to do DIY, because uh, the, the, around here in the North Jersey area, um, even the store brands are going for like uh, 20, $22 for a 30 mil bottle. Um, I'm sorry, I can go through 30 mils in two, three days. That's getting almost as damn expensive as you know as, as what smoking was, and one of the reasons why I decided why I started vaping was not so much to quit, 
but as an alternate means of getting my nicotine at a lesser cost uh I'm sorry <laughs> I don't cut it so yeah that's one of the reasons why I started doing DIY for myself um like I said I'm cheap I'm free to, I freely admit it I'm, I'm proud of it actually um my Scots Irish ancestors uh would be very very proud of me as to um as to my my penny pinching so uh yeah um so when I turned around not only when I saw the prices that they were charging on this um they only sell 120 mil bottles and the prices that they have for these 120 mil bottles are really really interesting um they're ra they're really nice prices for what it is and if the juice is as good as the flavor profile write up that they put on there for it um they might actually have another customer as well so well you know i'm just saying here you know we'll see what happens um yeah so i've got a few things i've got to get done it's almost at the time mark um and right now i'm just blathering on here to turn around and try and fill up some time and and and, and just you know keep on going so um I'm going to turn around and I'm going to call the ball on this and um, I will catch you guys again next week. Um, Gopher, you get that in on Monday. Uh, I would definitely like to hear your two cents worth on that on that tank. Um, most definitely. Um, so yeah, please stop stop back next week and uh, I will definitely be more than happy to hear about it. Thank you very much. I appreciate you saying that. Uh, tell your friends. Um, the more people we get in here, um, the more I chance I have of having some some really good stuff going on here. Uh, unless of course the fertilizer hits the fan in the vaping news department next week. God hope it won't. Um, you know, <laughs> you know. We'll see what happens. Everybody out there. Uh, gopher, office vapor, all of the gentle, ladies and gentlemen who may be out there listening to me and are ghosting the show and have not put in their two cents worth, thank you very, very much for coming by. I really do appreciate it. Um, I, to tell you the truth, between Tommy Vapor's show on Friday nights and doing this, this makes my weekend. Uh, I really seriously enjoyed doing this. I, I I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I as I as I do now. When I first started this, um, I seriously debated as to whether or not I was wanted to doing a weekly uh, show um, for a quite a long time, and I finally said, uh, "No, f it. I'm just going to do it and see what the hell happens." And, and you know, I really do look forward to it. I, and even when I'm just sitting here talking to myself or talking to my camera and there's nobody out there in the chat room, I still really do enjoy doing this. So thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope next week is good for you, or if not good, at least tolerable. Um, I hope that your dreams and your desires come to fruition for you or at least start to get that way for you next week uh, and from here on take care all the best thank you so much for coming um, God bless may the road rise to meet you may the wind be ever at your back Bye for now, guys.